Hey guys, welcome to my first video of 2015, which is, silly enough, about my favorites of 2014. So I figured rather than doing your typical sit down and talk to you about all the things that I really love throughout the year 2014, I figured I would put them all together and slap them on my face and do a little bit of a makeup tutorial. So a lot of these products are gonna be things that you saw me using all year. I think I used every single one of these in my tutorials, some of them a lot more than others, and you won't be surprised, including a lipstick, a certain highlighter, a certain um, winged liner that I'm using. So if you guys wanna see how I get this look, do please keep on watching. I had such an amazing year, thanks to you all, and I can't wait to see what 2015 brings. I'll see you guys soon. Starting off with my MAC Face and Body Foundation, I absolutely fell in love with this foundation this year. It's lightweight, it's natural looking, the coverage is fantastic. You can very easily apply it with your fingers and buff it in a little bit extra with a sponge. It's just so easy to apply and it's such a beautiful looking foundation. I really, really love this foundation and I will definitely be using it all the time. Moving on to concealer, of course I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is a nice thick concealer that covers up everything. No questions asked, takes care of it all. Love it, love it, love it. So after I applied my foundation and my concealer, I felt like I needed to buff it in a little bit, so I just grabbed my Real Techniques buffing brush. To set the under eyes, of course, I'm using my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. It sets my concealer under my eyes so there's no creasing and it makes it so that nothing falls down onto my under eye, nothing gets smudgy like my mascara. I'm sure you guys are sick of seeing my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Scapade, but I absolutely loved this highlighter over the year 2014, so I'm just applying that to the high points of my face. For blush, of course, I'm using MAC Warm Soul. It is the absolute perfect everyday blush. It's a little pink, it has a little bit of shine in it. It's very, very natural and it's absolutely stunning. For bronzer, of course, I'm using Benefit's Hula Bronzer. I absolutely love the way this looks. It's just enough to warm up my skin tone without looking muddy or weird. It's just a very nice, easy bronzer. Then I'm just taking a nice, big, fluffy brush and making sure to blend all of those cheek products together. For brows, of course, it's Benefit's Gimme Brow. You guys have seen me apply this a million times. It just adds a really nice shape to my brows and adds a little bit of extra color. For eyeshadow today, I'm using Makeup Geek's Latte with this uh, fluffy brush by Makeup Geek as well. It is the perfect crease color for me, especially when I just wanna keep it very, very simple and just have a little bit of definition in the eye and it warms everything up really nicely. and then adding a little bit of beaches and cream just to uh, lighten up that color a little bit, blend it out a little bit further. This color is closer to my skin tone, so that's why I chose it. I added a little bit of that also just to the lid. Taking latte again on a pencil brush, I'm just applying that underneath my eyes for a little definition and then moving on to my liquid liner. So this is Kat Von D's uh, Tattoo Liner in Trooper. It is the absolute best liquid liner I have ever used. The tip of it makes it so easy to create a really precise line. The formula is so black, it's so long lasting. It's absolutely perfect. It is my holy grail liner, absolutely. Moving on to mascara, I'm using Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes. Again, such a great mascara. I think it's similar to NYX's uh, Doll Eye Mascara, which I used quite a bit as well in 2014, but this one definitely takes the cake. To line my lips, I'm using NYX's Lip Pencil in Natural, and I've been using this a lot recently. It's just such a my lips but better color. And then finally, I'm using Gerard Cosmetics 1995. This was in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. It's such a perfect everyday, easy, easy shade, super long lasting. I absolutely love this lipstick and I wore it a lot throughout the year. So that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you all had a wonderful new year. I'm so looking forward to 2015. I can't thank you all enough for your support. I'll see you next time. Bye.